What do you think light is, Trace? Is I, it a I, I don't know. wave or is it a particle? I thought it meant that I had less fat in my yogurt. Hey guys, Trace here for D News with a special super smart guest, physicist Debbie Barry Bichet. Is that right? Bichet yes. or Bichet? No, perfect. Okay, from Outrageous Acts of Science on the Science Channel, Debbie is an expert on waves. So we asked her here to talk about something that I have wanted to talk about for a while, the double slit experiment. I know it sounds raunchy, it's totally not, it's science. The double slit experiment is a way to show that both light and matter can display characteristics of a wave. In its most basic form, the double slit experiment involves a light source, a wall where you project the light, and a screen with two slits in between them. Okay, so what does this double slit experiment show then? If we think of light as being formed of tiny particles, then this would behave very much like as if you're throwing golf balls at the wall. They're only going to go through the double slits, so you're going to see two lines at the end of the wall. Great, but what if light isn't made of particles, you know, because you always hear of light waves. Well, if it's a wave, then there's still only two light rays going through the slits, but as soon as they pass through, they start to diffract. What? What is diffraction? Diffraction is when light passes through small openings or narrow slits. Have you seen when you throw a rock into a pond of water? You get all and the you ripples. Exactly, those circular ripples that are expanding outward. That's very much like a diffraction pattern looks like. Mm -hmm. As the waves pass through the two slits, they start forming those ripples and they move forward. So what you'll see at the end of the wall is an area full of light and dark patches, oh. an interference pattern. Okay, so the double slit just proves hands down that light is a wave. Done. No problem. Hold on, cowboy. Um. It's not as simple as that. The double slit experiment does show that light is made of waves, since particles don't diffract. However, light is also a particle. What? This is not even fair. How can it be both? Light is cheating. Well, let me tell you the story. In the 1900s, the physicist Max Planck posed that light carries energy in discrete quantities called photons. Mm. And Einstein took that theory further and studied and won the Nobel Prize for the photoelectric effect. Oh, I've heard of this one. Okay, so Einstein pointed ultraviolet light at metal and then detected the electrons that were coming off of it. So what you're saying is that this proves that light is made of photons and not waves because the tiny balls of photon energy were transferring energy out of the metal exactly. and getting electrons. Exactly. Yes, because the photons, if you think of them as billiard balls, they're hitting the single electrons that are then moving and disengaging from their atomic orbits and then coming out. But that doesn't make sense then, because how can light be a wave and a particle at the same time. Welcome to the weird world of quantum mechanics. Einstein paved the way by embracing the wave-particle duality. A central concept of quantum mechanics is the inability of concepts like wave and particle to fully describe the behavior of quantum scale objects. So as the double slit experiment can prove that light behaves as a wave, the photoelectric experiment proves that light also behaves as a particle. Mm -hmm. And this is what quantum mechanics shows that we can take one view or the other, wave or particle, but not both simultaneously. See, this is just difficult stuff. Quantum <laughs> physics is hard, and you are obviously super smart, so thank you for coming and talking to us about it. And thanks for tuning in to D News today, everyone. Do you have any crazy questions that you want us to answer about some complicated science? We will make the call and get someone on here to talk about it, like Debbie. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.